Hello, Nathaniel Oxford here with a cello video on how to play Jingle Bells. First off, just a few reminders here that the uh, in, in button for your cello, the back of your cello is going to sit over your heart in the middle of your chest. The pegs should be behind your ear and uh, on your neck there's going to be space between when I say your neck, I mean the neck of the cello, between the neck of the cello and your shoulder on your body. There sh it shouldn't be resting on there. There should be space. Your cello is held by your um, by these little curves right underneath the C bouts on the back of the cello on each side at your knees. So your knees um, can't be in the way of your C bouts because that's where your where your bow goes. All right. When you play the cello, make sure your hand makes a C, your left hand makes a relaxed C. Your thumb goes on the back of the neck and it's bent and it's just there as an anchor point. It's not there to grab the cello. The cello just stays. It's, it's an anchor point for you and it's pretty much behind the second finger. So in between your first and second tapes. Um, and you can find... practice where your fingers go. Do it in a mirror, do it with your eyes closed, do it looking at it if you need to. And if you look over and you see like your hands doing something weird, your thumbs up here and your fingers are flat, then um, fix it and adjust it. And always make sure that thumb's on the back. Some of you might even have a little uh, cushion or a sticker there to remind you to put your thumb on there. For the bow, we're probably going to use uh, middle finger and thumb bow at this point in the year. You want to have just a little tiny bit of weight in the tip if you're going to use that bowing. And you want it to be perpendicular to the strain, right in between your two sidewalks. Alright, um, if you're playing down at the frog, if you're using a frog bow hold, remember that you got to have um, slightly less than a 90 degree angle between your hand and the stick of the bow. All right, let's go ahead and do Jingle Bells. Hopefully you have the sheet music or the song in your book or the handout with the notes and the numbers on them. Any of those will work for you. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say it the first time, we're going to pluck it, and then we're going to bow it. So <clears throat> line by line in my book, it has the first line, second line, third line, fourth line, which correspond to the phrases, fortunately. So here we go. Let's say it. One, two, one, two, ready, go. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, rest. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, rest. F sharp, A, D, E, F sharp, rest, rest, rest. G, 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 F sharp. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, E, E, F sharp, E, rest, A, rest, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, rest, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, rest, F sharp, A, D, E, F sharp, rest, 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 G, 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 F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, A, A, G, E, D, rest, rest, rest. So you can do it just saying the note names. You could do it saying the note names and playing it on your, or fingering it on your instrument. You can do it saying the note names and fingering it without your instrument, like if you're in the car or sitting somewhere where you can't play your cello. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp's three, E's one, D zero, and G is four. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, rest f sharp a d e f sharp rest 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 so see i can do it without that you could break it down and do one line at a time another thing if you do it one line at a time let's say i went through the first line and i had oops i had a little blunder in there you can break it down to a smaller section just do those last five notes of the line um f sharp f sharp f sharp F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. Everybody's probably got that. That's the easy part. So if you have a blunder, it's probably in that second half where you just need to do those five notes. F sharp, A, 
D, E, F sharp. And if you think about it, once we have the bow, that part, you got to do a little skip there in your notes with your left hand fingers, and you got to skip strings with your right hand jump back and forth between the D and the A string. So there's a few things to do and you might just practice those five notes for that line. So next, let's go ahead and pluck it. We're gonna pluck it and say the note names. <clears throat> if at any point you wanna stop and you just wanna do one line at a time, you can and then restart the video. Or if you wanna just practice uh, one line at a time and then come back in and do the whole thing with the video. We're gonna do it right now, plucking. So here we go, one, two, one, two, ready, go. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, rest. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, rest. F sharp, A, D, E, F sharp, rest, rest, rest. G, 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 F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, E, E, F sharp, E. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, rest. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, rest. F sharp, A, D, B, F sharp, rest, rest, rest. G, 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 F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, A, A, G, E, D, rest, rest, rest. Cool. Uh, now let's bow it. And when we bow it, if you're using Early, early style bow hold, thumb and middle finger. If you're at the frog, check that your middle finger's on the metal. Your thumb's across from the middle finger and it's bent. You wanna have a, a, some space in here, a mouse house. And let's see, what is this? Thumb is across, from, middle finger's on the metal, thumb is across from the middle finger and it's bent. Those are the three things. All right, let's do Jingle Bells with the bow. One thing that um, you might try with the bow is as you go through and you play. You might bow through the rest. In the book we're using, it doesn't teach half notes or whole notes before this song. It only does quarter notes and quarter rests. So the um, quarter rests in here, you really could just bow through those and hold those notes up because that is how you would sing it. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. F sharp, 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 rest, rest, rest. G, G, See how I bowed through those? One thing you might do also, maybe you noticed this already, but I went down bow, up bow, down bow, down bow, down bow, up bow, on, up, down, up, down. And then the next line, I lifted my bow and did a bow circle because we usually want to start on a down bow, right? So if I don't lift it up and do a down uh, bow circle after that first line, then my second line won't start on a down bow. So uh, usually when I perform this, when we have an in-person school, uh, we'll actually go in and write a little apostrophe after the first line. And that means it's called a, a, a bow lift or a retake, um, where you do a bow circle and you re, you've you just finished the down bow and you need to reset up for another down bow. Um, so I would do that at the end of the first line and at the end of the second line so that the or at the end of the third line so that the second line and the fourth line with those g's can start on down bows you want to try that this time okay let's let's play it through one more time let's go a little tiny bit faster one two three one two ready go <laughs>
That's Jingle Bells.